what's the deal peeps so um this is the ultimate detox for the ears um i haven't tried what's it called uh I haven't tried the uh, turpentine that I ordered yet, but that's the second option. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know how it works exactly. So the only thing I'm going to recommend you right now is what I use. All right, so I'm going to show you guys right here. So this is, uh, this is the fucking spray that I use, all right? And what I do... As I point the Q-tip like this. Alright, so it gets all the way up in the ear. And then when you get it, you you put it in the ear. And, uh, and you just twist it till you can just keep getting into the ear all the way in, all the way in. Like pretend if this was your ear and you put it in there. And you just keep twisting it till you could, till you can get no further in. Twist it all the way in, twist it, twist it, twist it until it stops. All right. And then when it stops, you freaking pour the fucking, this fucking alcohol shit in there. And then it's your ear hole. What, what's going to happen is it's going to start to close up because it doesn't want none of that stuff to get in there. So it tightens up the fucking Q tip. And so the fucking Q tip will be all tight. And what you do is you just, you turn it little by little and just move it around like that. And let the alcohol soak into the Q-tip. And then spray more if you want in there. And like, and it's going to burn like a bitch. So you guys, make sure what I do so that I don't fucking stab myself. Because I've done this a, a, more than a few times. I break the Q-tip in half or I cut it in half. And I only leave a little bit where I can twist it. Because if you like forget about the Q-tip is there. You'll fucking jam this shit into your ear like that. You'll hit it or you'll bump against something and that shit hurts like a motherfucker. So um, don't like cut it in half or like more than half. So you just have like a little tip that you could play with like that. And then and then just keep doing that like until until it doesn't burn anymore. Just keep on moving it around. It's going to burn like a bitch. So make sure you're laying down like this is my bed right here. So when I do it, I freaking uh, you see how I have it cut here in half right so i cut it in half and then i make a point out of it and so i lay down and i fucking just scream my fucking ass off and uh my left ear is completely fucking detoxed and um like what you do as well is when you cut it in half all right you leave the q-tip in there so you're gonna sleep with this in your ear and what's going to happen is there, it's probably, this is what happens to me, but I use a lot of different stuff. So you probably might not get the same effect. But what happens if I leave it in the ear, um, a lot of like stuff comes out of the ear and soaks up into the Q-tip. So when you, after it burns a while it's, and it stops burning for a little bit, um, take it out, squeeze out the stuff, like squeeze out whatever's in the Q-tip, like, like here, squeeze it out. And then just make sure like everything drips out and then like put it back in your ear and then um, and then put a little bit more, just a little spray and then um, and then go to sleep. And then uh, what's what's going to happen or not even a spray if you want. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter either way. The stuff's going to come out and it's going to soak into the Q-tip. And when you wake up, it might smell like weird. But then uh, in the first thing in the morning, um, you're going to have to spray again. So in the morning, it's going to be like, you're going to have, you're going to have all this stuff. It's going to probably be like slimy and you just like wipe it off, clean it off. If you want to put a new Q-tip, that's cool. And then, um, fucking put it back in your ear, build a new Q-tip, put it back in your ear, fucking move it in there, try to get as deep as you can and then fucking spray it right in the morning. Psh, Cause all that stuff that build that's coming out of your ear, it's going to fucking, it's like all this fungal bullshit. And what you do in the morning, because it's built up all night, you spray it in there and psh, it's going to burn again like a bitch. But then you keep doing that shit every morning, bro. You keep doing that shit every morning and your ears just going to dry out. All the fungal is going to dry out. And then and then they're fucked. They, they like it literally fucks up their whole system. Like right now outside, they're fucking spraying all kinds of shit like 
you can't see it, but it's it's the fungal bullshit that they're trying to spray. And uh, it, there's like, you can't see no chemtrails right now, but I see them spraying and they'll pass by and they'll be spraying and it'll just disappear like it disappears. But I know, I know they use different things for different times. Like for instance, so um, I... I was uh I was drinking and and like well they weren't expecting me to drink so they were spraying all these chemtrails and and then like they're like oh no we need to spray some other stuff so like they literally stopped spraying and they pushed all the chemtrails to like the mountains and then they came and they sprayed some other stuff so I know how these fucking dumbass fucking idiots work and you know I could have my gas mask and stuff like that but um what you call it um Oh shit, hold on. Ah. So I have a weak ass airplane passing by right now. This little bitch is just trying to collect information or whatever. As soon as I turn on my phone, these fucking cowards try to come, but it's all good. You know what I mean? Um I'm a savage, bro. I'm a savage. These cowards are never gonna win. Um, uh, county sheriff's department. Yeah, figure. They probably might pass by right now too. We'll see. Um, but yeah, they're losers, bro. They're losers right now. I'm like totally victorious. Um, the right ear, my right ear is still a little bit, um, clogged up, but I'm going to be working on that one. And I know exactly the procedure to do, um, and uh, I'm not going to really talk about it right now until I get it completely fucking detoxed. And then I'll I'll tell you guys a little bit more tips on how to detox. So this is part one. Um, and this is like the best thing that I found that fucks them up and hopefully helps your targeting. So um, let me see here. So when I turn on my phone, um, they have... Uh, they have like this energy focused on my jaw or whatever. So like it's kind of hard for me to to like keep keep my phone on because uh these cowards are you know focusing energy on me. But let me see here. I hear something outside. I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, they probably wanted to pass by me, but they're not going to because they ain't going to get shit. They're not going to be able to do shit. Uh, let's see here. Um, so, yeah, I just randomly go get it. Like, don't like make sure that they don't know. But for some reason, I the Walgreens is good. So try to get the Walgreens kind. Um, if you can't get Walgreens, like go to like any like anywhere, really. But. I prefer Walgreens because they're not that big of a market. You know what I mean? Like CVS and Rite Aid and stuff like that. So these, like, for some reason, I just like this one. Um, and uh, let's see. So, yeah. So, um, like, once that funky stuff starts coming out of your ear, like, if that does happen. Because at one point, I don't think that always happens. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it doesn't. Just continue to keep on doing it continue to keep it's gonna dry out your ear and then make sure when you shower do not let any shower water to get into your ear all right make sure that you don't because that was the mistake that i made and it messed me up but i was really fucking like i had perfectly fucked them up and i had my ears completely fucking detoxed so um so yeah just uh i'm gonna keep on fucking them up like I said, I mean, these cowards, they're, I mean, they're easy to figure out once you know what's up. Um, so, um, so yeah, I hope this, this helps, helps you guys like really try this. I'm telling you, um, it helps me a lot. And, uh, let's see what else am I forgetting here? Um, so yeah, just switch out the Q-tip once it gets like too messed up switch it out and then put you know cut it in half because i'm telling you guys if you don't cut it in half it, you're gonna fucking jab your ear i've done it already like three or four times and that shit fucking hurts like a mother 
so um so yeah dude just keep on then you just make the you know make the twist in it you know what i mean try to like because some of them they you mess them up make sure like they're still attached too because like if you pull it too much it'll come off and like don't break it off in your ear but if you just happen to break it off in your ear um if you get the plastic ones sometimes there's like little like things that can grab onto it so like if you do lose one just like stick this thing back into your ear and like twist it and it'll grab onto like the the cotton and then you could just like pull it out like that but just make sure you it make sure it's not falling off of the stick because um you'll lose the you'll you you'll lose it in your ear and then it's gonna be a bitch to get it out um so let's see um so yeah just keep doing it keep doing it till till you can't till you don't feel any more pain and then the deeper you go, the deeper you go, like the fucking more it burns. So like when it's at a point and you're fucking, you're going into the, into the, uh, into the ear and like the longer you make this fucking thing and then the deeper you go and it just fucking just burns more and more and more and more and just fucking jam that fucker in there. Fucking bitch ass motherfuckers. All right. So fucking fuck these perps. I'm glad I fucking fucked them up again once fucking once and for all. And fucking now I'm going to be careful if I ever um, if I do mess them up this time, I'm going to be like super careful what I put in my ears now. I mean, and I'm just going to go and fucking live my life as best as I can. If, you know, my targeting isn't that bad, I can deal with these fucking pieces of shit. But if anybody I can help, you know, I'm going to get to work and then I'm going to hopefully be able to help some TIs. So this is my number one go-to right now. I still haven't tried the turpentine. If I can break free from these cocksuckers, I won't need to try it because I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna. Uh, they keep closing my camera too. These fucking little bitches. Uh, so just make sure, dude. Like, just go and do it before these fuckers try fucking with this too. Like, I don't think they could tamper with this. I don't. I don't know if they put nano in it and shit like that. But I mean, I don't even know if that would work. Well, just probably read the instructions. Let me just put the instructions here for you guys so you can see what the hell it says. Like, what the ingredients are and whatnot. But, I mean, I don't know if, if they can even put nano on this bullshit. But anyways, yeah, bro. This is the shit. Um, I'm gonna chill today, bro. It's Sunday. I don't know if about the Sabbath, but praises to the Most High that he's giving me victory again over my fucking enemies. And, uh... Yeah, some RFID fabric right here I'm covering myself with right now. Just, you know, chilling. And I'm going to just probably make some videos and, and just enjoy the day, bro. Like, fucking who cares about these stupid-ass perps? I don't give a shit. I'm winning. They're losers. Peace.